Hey everybody and welcome to Slug Me 8. Special edition this year, we're broadcasting live from the 3D Experience Lab. The amount that we've done this year far exceeds what we've done. The amount and we've done in the past two days far exceeds <laughs> anything we've yeah. done. Seen other software demos modeling in 3D, but now we get to see that physically happen within the same broadcast, within the same room, getting to see that part in, in, Real in reality, right? That's fun to explore too, is like the differences between what we designed in SOLIDWORKS in, in software to what we end up physically building. Every time we open one of these labs, exactly the same profile of bright and inventive people that we work with at MIT appear anywhere in the world. We're in the lab and there's like 15 or so people all working diligently on building this creation. Correct. That came out of your brain. Yeah. And that's a scary thing. You know, this is like a five to 25 second, you know, 10 minute sketch. You know what yeah. I mean? Like somewhere in between there. And then I just started things that really kind of inspired me to think how. So we get what's called over here, the, the book house, birdhouse jazz, right? And so mm -hmm. this was just, you know, my interpretation of a lot of different bright colors coming together. A huge time saver is the indent feature. Where is the indent feature usually used? Plastics. Plastic design. Yeah, yeah. so we got yeah. weldments, sheet metal, plastic tools. Got it. Yeah. We're making wood. We're making wood. wood. Okay. Yeah. Good. So let's use the in depth Perfect. feature here. How are you going to simulate a hailstorm? We had a flow analysis, we had a subsequent structure analysis. You want to understand based on uh, your flow parameters, how does your structure perform? I'm here with Sal Lama, and he's going to walk us through what we got going on to make the most whimsical book house ever created. There's a lot of whimsy going on. Yeah. Oh, speed nailing. I got a good feeling that, you know, she's gonna outdo him, which is cool, because we're, we're only going up from here. The way these things were made were multiple pieces of acrylic. And this giant machine next to me is the laser cutter. Um, using the same DXF file, we're able to cut both the leading piece as well as the little uh, mini pieces, baby pieces. They, they do refer to that in the stained glass industry as baby <laughs> pieces. I could print a ton of these or I can print a handful of these and mold a ton of these. Which could you do faster? This. People think you could, you know, you need a crazy mold box. This is a cardboard box. Do to it. be honest, Luke, I, I doubted you like several times <laughs> yesterday. I doubted me I was like, times. I don't know. Okay. You got chicken wire wrapped around cardboard. Yep. And yep. You got the great stuff you're spraying and all the gaps. I'm like, ah, I don't know about this guy. So just, we have a little bit of a buildup. Yeah. And we're just going to lightly start rubbing over. And you suddenly start to see all those high spots pick up. And yeah. We're just going to keep building it up That's like crazy. this as it dries. And you start to see that we really get that kind of crazy tree gnarly texture comes out. Thank you everybody once again. This has been Slug Me 8. Uh, Eric, Todd, my hosts here with me. Thank you so much and we'll see you guys next time.